Hello, love bugs. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I wasn't going to show up today because of a lot of different reasons. And it's so funny. I'm like waiting for someone to yell out because no one knows that I'm on live. And I'm waiting for someone to yell something really weird out in the background. Um, yeah. The only thing that made me show up right now was this like just releasing all expectations and going, you know what? I'm just going to come on and make a video about nothing and that's okay. <laughs> and even if all I do is stare at the camera and even if all I do is sit and sing and even if all I do is scream my head off, like it's all perfect and it's all okay. And I made a commitment to showing up on live every single day. Um, and I made a commitment to myself. It wasn't really to anyone else. It was just to myself to just completely take the pressure off and just have this beautiful creative space where I can be all of who I am and I can do this for me. And I'm still playing with like what that looks like. And I'm still playing with uh, staying in my sovereignty. And what I mean by that is just making sure it's fully in alignment for me and making sure it's like a full body. Yes. For me. Um, and not showing up for the sake of anyone else. This count as art. <laughs> I often wonder. And I kind of want to bring music to these, except I'm not sure what the legalities are around it. If I'm allowed to play music on a live, if I'm allowed to play music on Facebook and then convert it to do it on YouTube. Like, is that a thing? Am I going to get, am I going to get taken down for that? The thing about creativity and the thing about like just living an authentic life is that it helps to have zero expectations of yourself. And I'm playing with this, I've been playing with this idea lately of like not holding myself hostage to who I was five minutes ago. And like playing in this whole alternate reality where <sighs> there's just like zero pressure for me to be anything other than exactly who I am. And the pressure's only ever internal. Like it's only ever internal. And all of the judgments that I fear from other people are just reflecting back to me all the ways that I judge myself. <sighs> It's so funny, I've had banks calling me all day. Like literally 10 times. Another one just called then. Just different things that banks call you for. And it's not that I'm pretending that they're not there, it's just that I'm choosing not to focus on them. That's all I need to say on that. but I'm not holding myself hostage to an old identity or an old expectation or an old idea that I had about myself. It's just like the weight of my expect. Ooh. <laughs> the weight of those expectations gets to lift. <sighs> and I just get to surrender and be open to what life wants to create through me. And life is just another word for God and God is just another word for life. <laughs> and I've been playing with that lately. I started switching it out in church when people talk about God or when the sermons preaches about God, I switch it out with life. Because it's exactly the same. Our relationship and our ideas about God are reflective of our ideas and our relationship with life our ideas about and relationship with, you know, life. 
funny that. Isn't it so weird? I washed my hair today for the first time in like three days and it's got all these like fun beachy waves. <sighs> so funny, I always thought one day I would be like a, like a beauty vlogger. Repeat, scratch that. <laughs> I've always admired beauty vloggers for the way that they can show up and just be who they are. Um, kind of like this. But like literally make a career and make a living out of sharing something that they love and that comes so naturally and authentically to them. Um, but I just have like zero desire to talk about makeup. <laughs> um, slash zero talents when it natural talents when it comes to doing my hair and makeup i tried to follow a hair curling tutorial the other day and it was like <laughs> holy shit it was so funny it was embarrassing it was embarrassing how bad i was <sighs> but it's just releasing the pressure that this has to look a certain way <laughs> Even releasing the pressure that it has to feel a certain way. Like I've had the expectation upon myself that this get this has to feel juicy. Like why? Um, I've been playing with this idea lately of like consciousness communication. I don't actually know what to call it. But it's like communicating through without words. And like how in the new earth or like in 5g realms like words aren't a thing and language isn't a thing um actually language is a thing that's what i'm feeling is coming through now like language is a thing but it's not like language that we know it's not like words that we know it's just like it's just like a pure communication through transmission that's what's coming through yeah fun fact i sometimes talk to spirit Oh, man. I think this is like half like making a point about how it's okay to show up and be whatever and like be all of yourself and be in your fullness in the world and have people see you in that and express yourself fully and half like practice for me to actually just like show up and not have it be about anything or having a safe container for me to like show up in all of me and practice letting life move through me. It was so funny. There was this like war. <sighs> I created this conflict for myself. Hmm. In that a part of me wanted to show up. The desire was there. And a part of me felt that life really wanted to show up through me today, as always. And then my head kind of kicked in. And it was like, we're tired. That doesn't make sense. Like, what are you going to talk about? It's not going to be profound. You're not going to add any value. You were, I was kind of scared. <laughs> you were scared. I was kind of scared because what I felt really called cool to show up in was like my anger. And I will show up in my anger on here. And I will let rip and let raw and unleash the wild woman. <laughs> that gets to be part of my expression. I had this thing come up yesterday and it was like watching these would just be like a massive colossal waste of time and then I'm like watching anything is a waste of time like there's so much shit on Netflix like seriously there's so much shit on Netflix that I watch it and I'm just like or I see it and I'm like why the fuck would people waste their lives watching that and also like why have I wasted my life watching so much stuff um but I think whenever I've like been binging on Netflix or whenever I've done the whole like binge watch an entire series and just episode after episode after episode it's been like gossip girl 
when I didn't want to face anything else. And I kind of just like go to work. I was working as a waitress, working in hospitality. I kind of just go to work and then come home and be like, it's okay. I've got a gossip girl. Like I've got eight hours of gossip girl where I've got, I can just lie in my bed and zone out in front of my laptop. And it's so funny. Like life was this kind of thing of like, mm, It just didn't feel good. It felt like I was like building up all this tension and energy from being in hospo and like waitressing all the time and like my nerve endings were getting fried and my nervous, there was so much nervous energy. <sighs> and then I didn't know what to do with it. So I'd just be like, up oh, to the point of exhaustion on the brink of collapse and then just like, oh, in front of my computer for like a long time until I fell asleep. I did that with food too. I used to like go and buy a block of chocolate on the way home. And I will still do that on a rare, rare, a very rare occasion. Um, but it used to be like a once every couple of days. Um, it was kind of like pleasure binging, if you've heard of that term. I would do this thing where I would pleasure binge. Like I would go, I hope I get to use this content one day because like I suppose that defeats the purpose of just showing up for the sake of it but um yeah it was this thing called pleasure binging and I can't remember who told me about it um it's not important <laughs> it's like I would deny and deny and deny myself so much pleasure or like I would reject and reject and reject so much of myself that like the it would build up and like amplify my body until my body would just be like holy crap like craving pleasure so badly that I would just like couldn't even control myself I would just like find myself walking to the shops getting a block of chocolate coming home eating it like the whole thing in one sitting um and like binging on Netflix so it's like if I wasn't like indulging in the pleasures of life because it's like a human need right pleasure is a human need and I think I don't know, that's kind of like a, like an enlightenment theory. Um, I mean, by that, I'm dreaming like a spiritual theory. I mean, like a post, is it like postmodern or like the enlightenment phase when everyone was like really artistic? What was that called? Um, but I feel like that's like a, what emerged out of that is like pleasure is just like part of, but it's also present in a lot of like ancient cultures as well. So it makes sense that like pleasure would be a priority in our lives, right? Um, but I just don't think it is in modern life, which is weird. Um, hmm. Oh, this guy I hooked up with just messaged me on Instagram. We hooked up ages ago. I really liked him. He's really cool. Really beautiful, beautiful man. Hmm. Love you, Liam. Um, yeah, so it's like my body just like couldn't cope with that pleasure. And so I would just like switch with flip and I just like go and like kind of like it's like an override mechanism in the body that's just like all right we're gonna override all conscious thought and every part of you that was like we don't want to eat chocolate this week and we're just gonna like go to the shops <laughs> we're gonna take you to the shops and you don't have any say in it you know those that those times when you feel like you're totally like out of control and you actually like there's a part of you that's like we said we weren't gonna do this anymore and then a part of you the rest of you is just like fucking on the wall path <laughs> like <laughs> it's really funny hey yeah. <sighs> okay. Hmm. <sighs> the truth I feel called to share in this moment is... <laughs> That's it. That's it. Just like crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. <laughs> Someone's going to screenshot that and make it into a GIF. Please do. <laughs> All right. I love you, beautiful humans. Someone better make a montage one day of like all the times I like say like beautiful thing, profound things. And like, you know how they do on TV newsreels and like play it back at my funeral. That would be sick. That would be really cool. And that was weird. And now I feel really self-conscious about saying that. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Hmm. 
cool. Bye guys.